This screencast is on the classification of chemical reactions. There are five major types of chemical reactions. We'll talk about combination reactions first. In combination reactions, it just simply involves two or more substances combining to form a more complex substance. This can be represented here by A combining with B to form the more complex substance AB. A can be an element or a compound, B can be an element or a compound, and it forms the combination AB. Here are three examples. Two diatomic molecules of hydrogen combining with a diatomic molecule of oxygen, and the G just represents in the gas, form two molecules of water. And this just happens to be G, so it would be vapor. Next, we have carbon combining with oxygen to form CO2. And then last, we have calcium oxide combining with water to form calcium hydroxide. The next type of major reaction is decomposition. You can think of decomposition as the exact opposite of a combination reaction, where one substance is broken down into two more simpler substances. So we have a compound here, goes through a reaction and it forms the products A plus B, where A can be an element or a compound, and B can be an element or a compound. So we take this complex formula here, run through a reaction, and you get simpler products. Here's another example. We happen to have lead to hydroxide. Decomposition produces lead monoxide and water. And then last we have silver oxide and decomposition forms just silver as a crystal, that's what the CR stands for, and oxygen gas. In a single replacement, a neutral element becomes an ion as it replaces another ion in a compound. So here we have the element. And first we'll talk about the positive ion and then the negative ion replacement. Here on this side we have the positive ion and over here we have the negative ion. So A is going to replace B and you're going to yield B as a product and AC as the new compound. This is the ion replacement. And then the opposite for negative ion replacement. Let's take a look at this one here. Zinc is the solid. This compound right here is sulfuric acid. When you put zinc as a solid in sulfuric acid, it yields two products. The first product is zinc sulfate. And we simply replace the hydrogen with the zinc and the product produced is hydrogen gas over here. Here's another example you can take a look at as a positive ion replacement. And then this equation down here is a negative ion replacement where you have Cl2. And if you take a look at your periodic chart of ions, you should have handy you'll see that chlorine is typically producing negative ions. So you would suspect that it would take this compound, replace the bromine, and that's what it does. It, provide, it forms potassium chloride plus bromine gas. Next is a double replacement. This is actually easier to understand uh, once you go through it. And it says, like dancing couples, compounds in this type of reaction just change partners. 
So you have the compound AB, compound CD, and they just switch places. Some examples are here. And we have silver nitrate combining with sodium, uh, sodium chloride to form two products. The first product is silver chloride, and the second product is sodium nitrate. The ions just switch places. So NO3 ends up over here, and then the Cl ends up over here. The next two reactions are very similar, and we'll just talk about the third one here, where we have sulfuric acid, and it is combining with sodium hydroxide to form sodium sulfate and water. And it's just simply the ions switching places. The last reaction is combustion. And combustion involves organic compounds like propane. And when they act with re oxygen and air, they form CO2 and water. And the reason these combustion reactions stop is all of the oxygen is used up. So you have a hydrocarbon, you have oxygen, and it forms CO2, which is carbon dioxide, and H2O, which is water. Here's your alkanes that you should be familiar with. You have methane, ethane, and propane. It reacts with the air or oxygen, and it yields water and CO2, carbon dioxide. Thank you for watching this screencast.